Okay, so working from the mount. All right, I'm gonna always try to, to get these elbows separated. One thing I like to do is I like to go inside the cross collar grip here. Okay, and now I'll start to get this, this hand, this elbow separated because usually they're defending the grips. If they don't, we go, yeah, perfect, okay. So from there, I'll start to slide up and now I'm thinking maybe arm bar. In this scenario, our partner turns a little bit more than I want to. Okay, what do I have here though? I have a gift wrap. Whenever you can get this exposure of the back, I try to trap it too, because they're gonna keep moving, put the back to the mat, whatever, belly down, they're gonna keep moving here. So as soon as they go here, my goal is to smush everything down. So I use my chest and I smush. Okay, now you always have this helper hand here to trap, reach behind the head and grab the wrist. You can, if you want to, go all the way through and grip your own hand here, or you can use this for stability here. Now I'm looking to slide my knee all the way up as much as I can and create a nice angle here. So we have this angle, uh, perpen parallel, and I'm looking to get like more perpendicular. So you can use this on the mat or here, whatever works for you. Slide the knee up right behind your partner's head. Okay, now I'm gonna sit to the side and I'm gonna put my other hook in. So I wanna try to keep my head tight. I'm gonna pull my partner over to the side here and I put my hook in. Do that one more time. That's good. All right. So we try to get the, the elbows separated. I like to go here. Cool. I'll slide this up. If I can push this across, I'll smush it. Now I can reach under. Maybe I make both grips. Just one, whatever they give you. Slide the knee up. And now, when I, if I pull straight back, I'm going to end up really far away from my partner's head. So I prefer to sit to the side more. From here, I sit to the side. Here. And now the other hook will come in easily for our back control. 